Hello, this is Alex again from Swoosh English and I'm giving you a video today all about OET reading part A. So this is the speed reading section, or well, they call it the speed reading task of the reading examination part A. You have 15 minutes to complete this and this is always one of the most more challenging areas of the examination, mainly because of the time the time management skill that really needs to be employed because you have such a limited amount of time to complete between 25 and 35 gap fills. So we get the question from students in a, a class we did recently where they said, do you always have to copy the text? So you always have to copy the words from the text in your answer. And I'm going to go on that, onto that, and the answer of that in a second. But with the gaps, you have a maximum of three words that you can put in each gap. So no more than three words, okay? And with regards to the answer of this question, there's three options that would, you would have to choose between when deciding what the answer is or what the answer is for each gap. The first one is that you copy the words directly from the text. So you you can have this option where you have to copy it if it fits grammatically. Remember, grammar and spelling are really important because you could lose marks, for example, if your spelling is incorrect. But if it fits grammatically and it's a maximum of three words, then yes, that can be an option for you where you copy it from the text. The next one is you might have to change the uh, the gramma, uh, change the grammar from the text because maybe it doesn't fit into the uh, the gap fill uh, you know in, in terms of the sentences that you're provided with so you might have to change it grammatically and that needs to be correct as well or the last one which is a lot less common than the first two of copying it directly from the text and changing it slightly to uh, so that the grammar fits is that the third one is for you to supply the words yourself so this is much uh, this is a lot less common, but you still need to make sure that you have a lot of practice on many different past papers that are available online because you could have all three, number one, number two, and number three. So that's just a very, very short video today on the OET reading part A section. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Make sure you go to swooshenglish.com for more free materials.